privileged to serve on the USS Blandy, and we were on a, a, a firing mission right off the coast. You can see how close we are to the coast of Vietnam right there. Now you can see some of the effects of our shelling uh, right there. This is going to get interesting, folks, so just bear with me a minute. Um, again, that's the north. Now here we are. This is the looking backwards at the, f at the USS Blandy. And what you're seeing fire in there is a 5-inch 54 uh, cannon. Um, that's 5 inches, and the projectile length is 54 times 5. Um, quite a hefty charge. You can see that blast. That's some muzzle flash coming out of that cannon. Uh, and we're just sitting there. This was a normal day off the coast of Vietnam, just shelling uh, inland targets at the direction of the Marines on land. And uh, things were going quite normal at this point. You can see we're laying down quite a quake. We were just moving quickly because we were getting in close on this run. And you can see, again, the damage from the shells that we fired. Now, <coughs> um, here we are uh, again watching some of the uh, damage that we've caused by our shelling. This is one of our sister ships that uh, was accompanying us on this mission. And she was outboard of us, uh, away from land. So we were in closer, they were out further. Um, as we continue here, you're going to see more shelling. Um, we just keep on going. You can see the wake that the ship is leaving. Uh, we weren't uh, hanging around. In a moment or two here, you're going to start seeing uh, some, well, there's more effects of the shelling. Uh, we're going to get to uh, the hostile fire that we were under <coughs> here in a second. Um, just hang in there and wait. Uh, this is uh, again off the coast of North Vietnam 1968 now there were two shells that just missed us and you're going to see that 5 inch 54 now go into rapid fire mode uh, it's you can see the, the the muzzle flash there we were high speed um, doing rapid fire uh, counter attack and you're going to see some more shells just missing us uh, as we try to evade uh, the incoming rounds and uh, in a second here you're going to see it uh, there's uh, another picture of our wake and you can see the shells hitting there goes one there was another one uh, they're kind of hitting all around us and thank god they didn't hit us but there's another one uh, now we're starting to lay a cloud of black smoke a smoke screen so to speak this is an actual one where we can turn around and r run right behind it and they could not see us from the land. So we're laying out a smoke screen. We're still, you can see more shots uh, trying to hit us there and there again. Uh, and there's another one. And we're still going rapid fire and laying down a smoke screen. Uh, anyway, I was down below that turret feeding projectiles into that 5 inch 54 and there was no way we could keep up loading that gun as she was in rapid fire mode and you can see now, well barely see it, there you go, you see some more effects of our shelling uh, and more, sh sh there, there's a better view of the gun, there's more of a smoke screen unfortunately it's blocking the view of the uh, of the 5 inch 54 as well Okay, there we go. Um, more damage. More damage. More damage. And here we are in the aftermath. Um, you can still see the smoke screen being laid down. And we're still firing in rapid fire rate. I guess we're, we're turning away at this point. Still laying out a smoke screen. There's the captain. And here's the crew now. Uh, again, we are uh, 
going away from uh, land at this point, getting out of range. Uh, looks like some kind of water being being washed down there, and this is uh, called cleaning up the brass. Uh, all good. Uh, uh, shooters know how to clean up their brass. Well, we did it in a unique way here. You can see the brass all over the deck there. And uh, more of the shoreline. And here we come. Uh, you're going to see the brass being picked up now in a minute. Uh, again, unique way of doing it. There's our wake. There's uh, Unfortunately, that wasn't me, but here we are cleaning the brass. You can see us just dumping it over the side. Uh, we did not have space to store it, um, so we just chucked it over the side. Uh, love to have that brass today. I do have one of them made into an ashtray. Uh, that I was able, able to uh, uh, get my hands on. You can see I'm using a rag because that, that brass was still hot. Uh, Okay, here's some more firing. Again, that is a 5 inch 54. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is uh, one of out of my archives. This is back in 1968, off the coast of Vietnam, North Vietnam. Fire on pop. Um, just be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now. Oh yeah, and here's where we finally got some some area from some uh, cover from uh, our friends from the aircraft carrier, and uh, they were there to help us out. <laughs>